Hello everybody, this is Jen Jeff here. We're back with some Steel Division. There we go. Game responded. Hooray. So, whoop. Pause. Okay. Uh, I'm playing Axis. I have the 17 SS Panzer Grenadier with Player and the General. The General has the second Panzer and Player has the... I hate this stupid thing. 716th Infantry. That's what I thought it was. And then we're up against 4XA, the government, and a Burnator with the 4th Armored, the 2nd Infantry, and the 3rd Canadian Infantry. There we go. So, I've got this area. My intention is to hold this, and I stupidly forgot to give this guy orders to move up, so everything else is moving up. But, um, kind of forgot about him. I'll go back to... No, we'll stay in the neutral perspective for a while. And so this guy's moving up here. And, uh... 4, 4 XA is over here. And this guy is taking positions up over here. Can I just select everybody and hit shift? Woot. You can see what everybody's doing. Because I'm taking positions up here and I'm moving this guy up to about there to cover this road. And my ally to the left has an anti-tank gun to cover this area. He doesn't have a lot to start with. And on the right, there's a good amount to start with and this guy's not being particularly aggressive. The general decides to drop a bomb right off the bat. Doesn't do all that much, though. So go to my my viewpoint. Because... The beginning... I don't see much as there's a tree line here. On the right, this guy never advanced all that far. But because the, uh, the general simply doesn't have all that much over here, he's playing rather defensively. And it's kind of given them a plus one. But that's not too big of an issue. Not too big of an issue at all. I've got this artillery piece coming up. And some infantry. No one is initially really pushing anywhere. 4A did some pushing against me over here, but pretty much everybody's taken up defensive positions. Now, I tried to storm that one unit, didn't really work, so I just have these guys chuck a smoke grenade back and retreat back into the trees. I've got an advantage in the trees, not so much in the open ground, because these guys have two PPSH 41s and then uh, three of those and then two MP 40s for a close range firepower of 18 so yeah they destroy anything up close and like these rifles they're just not a match at all watch them get cut up absolutely destroyed by these two units and this guy exposes himself to my machine guns I put in the uh, farmhouse. Charge those guys down. Charge down the armored leader. I got these guys coming to charge that down. They do manage to get that one guy, but oh well. Forces them all back. I've got my mortar. And I've got this. I wonder, did... Um, They don't actually see it either. They had some freakishly accurate artillery at some point, so I'm kind of curious as to what they could see and could not see. Yeah, that rifle kind of exposes himself to the machine guns, and this guy moves up, forces a surrender. I know there's a unit in here because of the way the border's going, so I start sending this guy... I'll send that guy eventually to go take care of him. I know there's people in here because, again, the silent. 
And I'm being annoyed to death by mortars. And there is Abrams, the bane of my existence. Nothing new there. Now he doesn't actually see what that it's there, but what he's doing is he's force firing the building. And the shells are going through the building and hitting back here, so that's nice. Bit of a firefight has broken out on the right. Not all that much going on over here. Um, actually, I should probably take that. Hello? I am recording. Oh, okay, yeah. Love you too. Bye. That was my mom. Can't ignore her. Get one bomb off, and this guy pulls out. <laughs> yes, I'm good at recording, aren't I? I should probably completely fu- Nah, I'm not gonna restart. I'm using these guys to try to take that out, because they do have these Panzerfausts. But... They're blocked by... The scouts, and then that was the only thing blocking me. Do they, does he see that? Yes, he does see that. That the cavalry scouts there shows it. Again, the fighting opens up here. Spalling driver wounded. Pretty big firefight opened up there. And Abrams gets safely away, so I decide to not push it anymore. A couple 60mm mortars there. But now that this guy's here, I'm sending him into there. And we'll clear the infantry out that's in there. Pretty big firefight going on here. It's been relatively quiet over there being harassed by a B-26B. Boom! Panzer Shreks are freaking brilliant. Yeah, they're going after... They're position firing on my guys. So I bring this in. Hi! Turns off. And he has to break off because of the anti-aircraft. I've got a Panzer Shrek of my own. Those things are brilliant. Pin to the rifles down there with that uh, 34. Kind of exposed his little mortar truck here. So I popped out with my Stug 3 F8 to kill it because this thing has a 3 star rating, so it goes, does really well on that. Takes care of his little mortar. Yeah, most of the fighting at the moment appears to be on the right, where all the real hard fighting is going on. 1919 medium machine gun, faced with a B2F. A couple B2s out there, actually. The player's really doing a good job over there. I've got my JU-87D coming here to bomb the woods. Kind of go after the side there. And then I move my stormtroopers in. And they crush the rifles. And I have to actually order these guys to leave because I don't have uh, the evacuation thing on. It's 
some plans to just immediately leave. Other ones are kind of nifty to have around. Now that was freakishly accurate. I'm kind of curious. No, they can't see it. But my plane comes up and gets at least one of those things. Oh, and it almost killed the artillery unit. Oh, man. That would have been hilarious. And then the rifles spot the IG-18. Almost got the artillery with that. That would have been hilarious. Boom. Mortar being taken out by B-2. A flak A-8 is over here as well. It's a big fight. Much of the fighting has been on the right. We're now in phase B. I got my IG-18 there. It does. It provides fire support across the left here. Pinning down the enemy infantry. It will die. Abrams will kill it. But it will provide some very good fire support first. Actually, I lied. These rifles killed it first. Now they're under attack by multiple rifles and machine guns. A 42, that thing, and these Panzer Grenadiers. Get out of there, JU-88S. Now I start dropping mortars in on it. Player's doing really well on the right. This is where all the action really is. There was work going over here on the left and the center too, but it really wasn't all that pronounced. Because I don't have a lot of armor to push with. And I don't have any way to see where their stuff is. It turns out there's not much here, but there's also not much of a way to take advantage of the fact there's not much in this area. And it's covered by an anti-tank gun there. Without armor, I've got no real way to do a big push. Yes, run away. <laughs> Opens fire my MG42. Player on the right with a decidedly mediocre army is doing very well pushing the front forward. It's giving us a plus one. Meanwhile, the general and I are just kind of holding our positions on the left. The general is not... this deck is not really good until phase C. Now it's supposed... it's got 150 for phase B too, so it shouldn't... he shouldn't be too badly off. <clears throat> Smoking this off so I can cover this guy. Probably because he's have no ammunition. There's a Hellcat there. Who is this Hellcat? 4XA. <clears throat> I know there's stuff there at the half track. He's bringing up a truck with a command unit. So there's two rifle units, commander, and a half track there. But what's really making us the points right now and getting us ahead is this guy who's making up for a terrain lost on the left as we build up on the left. The Ag Panzer IV has moved in. Artillery is being dropped on these from the general. And I don't have any anti-tank guns, because this would be a good spot to put an anti-tank gun. Or, more accurately, probably there? Because I could sneak it back here and then move it through the trees into that position. And it would still be covered by this guy. <clears throat> My recon plane to see what's going on. Spot some stuff. Lots of AA up there. And they got lots of M4s. Really, this thing is not able to do anything because of all the M4s shooting at it. I see that. Drop my mortars on it. It's not in the very good shape, so... Just force it back with mortars. No anything with anti-aircraft. 
Fighting continues on the right. He's brought up a pack 40. Dash fires and does not quite disable the M4A1, which is unfortunate. Because that would have been good if it had managed to do so. Drop the bomb there. Bring up my rockets because this is a bit of a weak front. And they know where my guys are firing from, so they got their 25 pounders on the job. They got a lot over here, but they're not really pushing. The player on the right is really doing a good job. MG42 spots the infantry as it tries to pull back. I could have moved this guy up to peek up here, but I didn't know what was what he would have been facing, so I didn't. And he kinda dropped something. Boom. A little guess drop there. And that was pretty close, pretty close to hitting where it was, the unit was. Oh, somehow they see that. They can see all the way back there. And what does it? It could be this scout. Nope, it's not that scout. It's not that. How are they seeing all the way down there? Is it this guy? It's this guy. What's his spotting like? Normal optics. My scouts with very high optics can't see a freaking thing in front of them. And their freaking rifles can see everything. That's kind of annoying. That was really a lackluster bombing. Because I used that to try to cover this guy going in. And it didn't actually do much of anything. Got my mortars going in. Boom. Fuel explosion. Very handy Panther D with uh, high optics. Go back to my view. Tried to flank with the J87G, but there's too much anti aircraft, so it only gets one round off and doesn't actually succeed in hitting. Use my rocket plane to push that six pounder back and have him fall back. And pulling these guys back to reload. On the right. Player is still doing a very good job pushing these guys out. With all things considered, not having a heck of a lot to do it with. That B26B was annoying the entire time. It wasn't particularly effective. It was just really annoying. And he's brought his a, a fighter in, but that's just going to be shot up immediately. We possibly even go down. Nope, it didn't go down. They're still shooting at my rockets. They see it. No, they don't see it. They're just firing artillery. Boom. Anti-aircraft opens fire on that again. Doesn't achieve much. Oof. Some big rockets going off. Don't think it hit anything. No, it didn't hit anything. And 
gets counter bomb, but the bomb didn't actually manage to kill anything either. So, the generals moved up one of these stern grenadiers with its little Panzerfaust to take out that M4 A1. Kind of sucked. I was hoping to get it get it with one of my anti tank units here, the Panzer Shreks. Ah. Lightning actually got that unit. Pretty impressive. It almost gets shot down for its efforts. There we go. Stern Grenadier did a good job there taking out that Sherman. Starting phase C. And player over here is still going quite strong. So, I bring up some of my other artillery and a recon unit, and I've got some more artillery moving in over here. It's not the best artillery, as you can tell. Rather small. Russian guns. But it'll do the job. Fighting over here continues. And this guy's giving us a plus one. I'm doing a lot of just artillery dueling and supporting my left. Ooh, poor bugger. Oh, that was a ram tank. Yeah, I'm using control groups on my mortars here. One's, con one's group one, one's group two. These guys will be group three combined of two guns. And these two guns here will be group four. And that way, I can just, with the press of a button, call in these artillery strikes. They're only FK-18s with 75 mils and so on, but a decent range of 2,000 meters. Makes them kind of useful. They get to reach out to about here. Better than nothing. Taking out the rifle's leader. Not a lot going on in the center and the left. The occasional artillery strike attempt, but they just got so much anti-aircraft at this point. Tripolstein, Staghounds, Tripolstein, 17-pounder. Wasn't a direct hit. Probably would have needed that to be a direct hit. Yeah, this Panzer IV is in a little bit of trouble. And in front of me, 4X has a lot of M12s. I don't see it yet, though. I know it's got a lot of artillery, I just don't know what it is. Boom. Driver wounded. That sucks. That's my recon moving up to provide recon. Spots what's in front of my ally here on the side. And I'm starting to drop artillery on these trees because I know they're in there. I don't know what's in here. I just know something's in there. As... A rifle... A rifle dude here is able to see all the way back here and spot my artillery, as you saw earlier. But my scout can't spot anything. <laughs> Even with line of sight. Uh, not until it fires. Not until it fires. But I've got my artillery back here. Just firing on this tree line in general. The, the right side seems to have pretty much stabilized for now. My scout goes out and that's when I see all of this artillery. 
tried to shoot my planes, but it didn't really work. So, But I know now they've got artillery here. And I have lots of points saved up because I hadn't actually been deploying anything. That's going to die. Goodbye. Don't shoot. But these guys are doing a good job clearing all that out. They've moved their anti-aircraft up. They're doing pretty good about staying off this road. Which is good on them, because then this thing can't kill their stuff as it crosses it. Although they are using their artillery to counter battery me. I have an idea of how big these guns are based on how big the explosions are. So, they've exposed their anti-aircraft though. Yep, time to counter battery. Take out the anti aircraft. Boom. There goes one. Forces that guy back. And just keep dropping artillery back there. And get some more anti aircraft. Now, this is where they suddenly became very accurate with their fire on that anti aircraft, so. They don't see much, but they do see where the fire is originating from. So they're just counter-batterying me. Oh, look! This rifleman is spotting my truck from the rear. So that's how they could do it. My scout would never do that. My scout, in fact, died over here as it moved up. Got ambushed. But their riflemen can see clear across the half the map, or like a quarter of the map, and they just see it. And so, all these guys are now focusing that one gun down. But there goes that gun there. Pushes the map more in our favor now. And look at the firepower they bring down on this thing. Just first volley, dead. Doesn't mean they won't fire again. But I've brought all of these up now. Because I'm annoyed. <laughs> and so I'm going to do a bit of a push to secure some good terrain. And I have a plan. And that is going to die. Nope, it gets to live. So I got a wave of infantry and ska and a recon unit coming up. And I've also got some other recons in these things here. I'm providing artillery support to the general on the left. I supported uh, the uh, player over here a little bit, but not too much because he seemed to be doing so well. Bit of an awkward road from his reinforcement point, though. It's a bit twisty. Mine's kind of nice and straight. He's doing very well over here for what deck he has. Yeah, so I got these guys moving up. We've spotted that. They've stopped. And this guy is going to open fire on them. This guy gets killed. <clears throat> but that guy doesn't have any field of view over here. And that was my main concern. I wanted to clear out the field of view they had of this area. So I could move these guys up. Of course, we spot that guy. Those guys are pulling back. That guy's pulling back. And since I'd managed to take the area so easily, I start moving all these guys up. All at once. Because my idea is I'm going to drive them up to about here, 
and just dump it all on these. Because I can see them now. I, can, I know what they are. Destroy the track's wheels, forced it to be stunned and falling back. And this guy will not finish it off. He doesn't get to. So, yeah, still got these moving up. And this is where he either gets... This is where he gets lucky. Because I dropped smoke here so they couldn't see these guys advancing. But they're already firing these guns on that. So, they fire. And boom. 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 There goes two of them. Which really sucked. Oh, that sucked. Oh, well. Got mortars firing. Moving these guys up to secure the tree line yet again. Make sure they don't have anything in it that will spot what is left of my guys. Martyr 1, bouncing off a rhino. Ooh, wheels destroyed. It's a lot of fighters. So that plane's not going to get out. But well, reasonably sure that they don't have anything there. Knowing that this is only a rifle, might have called up from Sturm Pioneers. One of which, of course, dies. And we'll burn the fuckers out. Burn! Burn! They're not really... These are not really that good in that situation. But oh well. They do spot these for a moment. But I've already dropped my artillery back there now. And this is what really saves... X4 or 4X because he destroyed these two here if I was able to get all four on here I would have killed all of these because they don't have any armor oh they have some armor but it's not brilliant armor but I wasn't able to get all four on it I was only able to get two and as you can tell two was not quite enough It took out some good stuff, yes. But. Like the command unit, the supply truck died, whatever the frick. This jeep was is dead. But these largely get out. And only a couple of them are damaged to any real degree. But because I couldn't get all four on, they were able to get out. And none of them died. So, that was a pretty big stroke of luck on 4X's part there. But the generals managed to move up to here, and we're solidly in the plus one range. Player has been slowed down on the right a little bit, but not seriously. So, I can see that his stuff has survived. There's two of them there, there's one there. Interestingly enough, it's my stormtroop that's spotting them, not my recon. At least my recon can see the staghound, usually they can't even see that. Yeah, look at, look, look at that, okay. So the stormtroop can see the 17 pound, the M5, the 76 gun, in the trees. My which, look at it. normal optics compared to very high optics at this range. He's at um, a little bit over 500. My recon was here with very high optics and couldn't see a freaking anti-tank gun in this tree line. What the? Why? Oh well. That scout got murderized. And 
So did the Storm Troop. And pull this guy out of the trees going, nope. <laughs> Love that. You can see it, but you. Oh well. Fighting going on there. <laughs> Flamethrower troop has shown up to go after half tracks, and that's not going to end well for that thing. These things are handy. The little wasps are pretty good. Yeah, I see it there. I just haven't started firing on it. Got my Stug 4s coming up. Artillery firing on some stuff that is in there. It's no longer there. Oh, one of them just died. One of my artillery, that is. Because they are opening fire now. And I've got my mortars. I had to move them up. They're firing on the 76 now. It's pinned down. They're missing by a long shot. <laughs> They're firing all around it and not hitting it. But all. This scout is actually being somewhat useful in spotting the Hellcats over there. Stugs are showing up over here. Kind of inside each other. Got another Stug there. At some point, I bring in an 88mm anti tank gun. Right is still doing well. Left is advancing. We've advanced there up to there. And I've basically just held. I can't say I'm advancing anywhere, because I'm not. This guy's gonna die. He just won't pull back. I've ordered him to pull back by this point, and he won't do it. He'll do that, turn his side, and then he'll get hit. I like that they got internal fragments, destroyed all the ammunition, so there's no ammunition. Then gets an ammunition explosion <laughs> for his final death. Use that to go after that. And this is where that dies. No, well, he gets to live. So that pins that down and the artillery will finish it off. Their plane goes down. And I'm counter-battering that guy. So they've got two Hellcats, the Abrams, 76 mil gun, and two Sherman 76 command units that are moving up now. <laughs> Finally, the mortars get the 76 mil. I've got my Stugs pulling back. And here is my great big anti tank gun. With a command unit. This guy is launching his long range artillery all the way over here again. But it's a bit too late because. That guy surrendered. I like how he marked that for counter artillery when the guy's artillery is actually over here. I get it because he needed help killing it because he's being pounded by it, but I already hit it once. It's no longer here. Shooter, of course, gets instantaneously wounded. He's pulling back. Order's taking care of that infantry. Stug's there. Trying to be useful. Largely failing at being useful. Two more Stug's coming. They'll also fail at being useful. Granted, likewise, they're failing at killing the Stug. And they're attracting fire from these other two Stugs as they shoot that one. 
And that one goes down to my guy. Now, what I'm doing is quite wrong. Because there's too many guns here. They can just plaster all the fire down and stuns my guys and forces them, forces them back. So I shouldn't actually be fighting there. But I did force a couple of them to pull back. And they come into view of the Pac-43 with accuracy of 7. And yeah, 3 star Pac-43 accuracy of 7. He ain't gonna miss. Hi, artillery. Goodbye. It's like, these only have an accuracy of six, and they're only one star. This thing's seven and three stars. I think that gives them, like, an accuracy of ten or eleven. Yeah. It's like one of the only anti-tank guns I have in my decks. Because I don't actually like anti-tank guns. It bounced! The bazooka bounced off the stug. That lucky dog. Oh well. They're busy shooting that. Hi! And the freaking thing actually missed the 76. Bailed it out. I don't know what the armored car is doing. That takes that out. And bomb lands on pack 43. And that's going to shoot the Stug, trying to get it to pull back. And here comes the artillery falling on the Stug, actually. And this is where 4X also surrenders. And this is where the other guy surrenders, the government. So, minor defeat for them, minor victory for us. My entire team comes out with a positive kill to death ratio of like at least two to one, really. And let's see, the best unit on my side. January 7 d got one unit, one guy, the Stug F8 got two, probably could have used him more aggressively. This guy got the Spitfire and the 76. IG-18 did kill something. This guy killed something on the right, up again from the government that was in front of player. Mortars got a couple things. The heavy battery did good there. Pack 88 probably did the best. With two M18 Hellcats, an M12 artillery piece, and an M4A1. The Stug 4 here did good with the Abrams. But, um, yeah, what are those two things? I didn't lose all that much, but losing this and losing that to the artillery kind of sucked because these M12s would have been dead otherwise. But that was good. I had fun. Using random decks and random maps. I like how they added the random map feature in, which is nice. I'm glad they did that. Adds a bit of... Um, makes the game a little bit more interesting if you're not entirely sure where you're going to be fighting. But oh well. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thank you all for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to hit that stupid little bell thing that YouTube has added. Because... Otherwise, you won't get notifications of any new videos if you su subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter, at GenJeft, as I always have my video updates on there, so you will never miss a video if you're on my Twitter feed, because they'll all be posted, and any other dumbass comment I make as well. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.